All right, this makes the rest of us just look like underachievers. A 14-year-old high school student from Jefferson City, Missouri, has completed quite an accomplishment. It's something that has put her in the top one-third of 1% 1 of students nationwide. And she's 14. ABC's Will Gantz explains. Ava Flurry just got a perfect score on the ACT, and she's only 14 years old. I just wanted to, like, jump up and start screaming happily, but everyone else was quiet, so I had to kind of refrain from that. Ava's perfect 36, putting her in the top 0.313% of students who take the exam. I know a couple of people who've gotten 35, but I, I can't say I know anyone who got a 36. Yeah, me neither. I don't know anyone who got a 36 either, <laughs> except for you, Ava. Though she doesn't even have her driver's learning permit yet, Ava felt confident heading into the ACT. For my Christmas gift last Christmas, I asked for tutoring sessions for the ACT. <laughs> so I took um, group tutoring sessions. The high school senior taking the ACT for the first time back in September. I'm three years younger than everyone else who's taking it. Um, and I made my mom come in there with me <laughs> and find the classroom uh, that I was supposed to be taking the test in. That go around, she scored a 34, which puts her in the top 1% of test takers. I've always kind of been a perfectionist, and I was just like, I really want to know that I'm like doing my complete best that I can absolutely do here. When people see all that you've accomplished at such a young age, what do you hope the message is? A quote that I recently read and I've been trying to live by this is you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be present and persistent. So in other words, you don't have to be flawless. You can just as long as you're there and you're trying, that's all that matters. Ava will finish up her final few high school classes before heading to undergrad somewhere near home. She's only 14, remember, and she wants to major in biochemistry or biomedical engineering. And eventually she'd like to be a cardiologist or a neurosurgeon. Will Gans, ABC News, New York.